a Christmas sleepover, but this time in my apartment. I have been dying to show you guys what it looks like now that I'm all settled in and everything is decorated for Christmas. I know we always do sleepovers at Disney, which I love, and those are not going away anytime soon, but I thought it'd be really fun to have a sleepover here because, well, it's free and we have a full kitchen. And I just can't imagine a Christmas sleepover without baking tons of Christmas goodies. So we're gonna make Christmas pizza, decorate gingerbread cookies, watch a Christmas movie, and just do all of the Christmassy things. So feel free to throw on something cozy, bake along with me, and let's let the Christmas sleepover begin. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Target because truly I will just take any excuse I can to go there during the holidays. But there are a few things we need to get for the sleepover. We need to get pizza dough, pizza sauce, pepperoni, and cheese all for the pizza. We need to get eggs for the cookies, possibly a rolling pin to roll the cookie dough, and then a few little things that I'm just going to need for the week. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. for a little Target haul. Don't judge me, I have been on a little frozen breakfast kick recently, so I had to get some Eggo French toaster sticks. And then I got all the stuff for the pizza, so I got mozzarella. I also got cheddar. I feel like I needed another cheese, and I have some Parmesan too, so I'll have all the cheeses. I got pizza sauce. They didn't have regular pepperoni. Well, they did. It was like the kind that like circled up. I don't know. So I decided to get turkey pepperoni, which I actually prefer turkey a lot of times anyways, like for turkey bacon. So I feel like this would be yummy. Oh my gosh. They had the cutest little clips. I definitely did not need these, but I really wanted them. Target has the best Christmas accessories. I kind of already had everything else in that section, like my little necklace that says Mary, that's from Target. I have a little Santa claw clip, so yeah, I got these too. Oh, I found these little Christmas sprinkles that I thought could be so cute for the cookies. And they also had edible glitter, which I thought would be fun to like sprinkle on the cookies. I got eggs for the cookies, picked up my mail. I got a new cookie sheet because the ones I have are honestly just kind of old and ugly. Um, so yeah, we got a cute little cookie sheet. And then last but not least, I got pizza dough. Well, a pizza crust actually, because they didn't have pizza dough. Usually I get the little Pillsbury. It's pizza dough that just comes in a little can and you can shape it to however you want. And then you bake it for 10 minutes and then you can put on the sauce and everything. They didn't have it. And so I thought about running to Publix because the whole point of making the Christmas pizza is getting the dough that you can shape and then you make it into a Christmas shape. And I think I was gonna do a candy cane or a stocking or something. So they didn't have it and I didn't really feel like running to Publix too. So I decided to just buy the regular pizza crust. I think I'm gonna make a little bow out of pepperonis. Okay, it is time to make the pizza. So I have to heat the oven to 400 degrees. I was gonna save this pan for the cookies, but it's the only one I have that will fit the pizza crust. So I'll just wash it in between and use it for both. So let me wash this. All clean. And one more thing before we start is I'm gonna light my Christmas candle. I have the peppermint one, it's from the Myers brand and it smells amazing. Time to open the pizza crust. The brand of this cookie pan is called Figment and I just think that's really funny and it like says it on the pan, but it's not spelled like the Disney pigment. It's spelled with an I. Now for the pizza sauce, I just got the like Target brand Good and Gather Organic. And we're just gonna spread it on there. I like a lot of sauce on my pizza. I think I like a saucy pizza. What about you guys? Do you like more cheese? Do you like more sauce? I definitely have to have a really good sauce to cheese ratio. Like it can't be all sauce and no cheese. So I know some people don't even like pizza sauce. Like a lot of times I'll go out with friends if we're getting pizza 
and they won't get the pizza sauce. They'll get like white sauce or something, which I like, but I just, I just love a good classic pizza with marinara and cheese. This is looking nice and saucy. Now for the cheese. We'll start with mozzarella. Always gotta eat some. Mm. I think I'm gonna do mainly mozzarella and then just like sprinkle on some cheddar. Next, cheddar. And then I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle of Parmesan. I barely have anything left in this, so just like a little bit. Now for the fun part. I think I'm gonna try to make a little bow. And it makes sense because I'm wearing little bows in my hair too. Bows are just so cute. I feel like everyone is just putting bows on everything and I love it. I'll do one pepperoni in the middle. I also want the bow to have like a little tail too. We'll start with something like that. Actually, this is gonna be really cute. I think we just need to shift it up more and just like slowly inch the little pepperonis up. I also think making like a wreath would be really cute. Really, there's so many ways you could do this. And I think the more toppings you have, the more creative you can be. Like I was on Pinterest looking up ideas and I saw a snowman and it was so cute. I think I really wanted to do a snowman and they would use little olives for his eyes and for his buttons. But the only thing is I am just such a picky eater. Even if I pick the olives off of the pizza, I, I wouldn't eat that bite because it would still have like the olive like taste on it. So I wanted to be creative and just do pepperonis. For Halloween, I did this with one of my friends and I ended up making a little Frankenstein. And I actually thought it turned out so cute because I just cut the pepperonis into little triangles for like his head. I think this is perfect. The oven's ready, the pizza's ready, so time to put it in. Now we bake this for 8 to 12 minutes. I think I'm going to do 8. I always do the shortest time and then check on it in case it needs a little more time. I think the bow ended up being super cute and super fitting. As we wait for the pizza to cook, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my apartment. Finally do a little apartment tour. Now, I don't think my apartment is in its like most perfect condition. But I think it's as good as it's going to get this year. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on Christmas decorations, which I didn't. I'm really proud of myself. I think it's really cute for what I have, and I feel like it's a very me apartment. So it might not be everybody's taste. But anyways, let me show you around. So starting in the kitchen, this is my fridge. I really need to update my Polaroid pictures because I have so many more I want to add. But I wrote on this for you guys, Merry Christmas. And then this is above the fridge. I think it's so, so cute. And then in this little section of my kitchen, I have the snowman Christmas counter. I don't think that's quite accurate, but I'm just gonna leave it. And then I got this little gingerbread house from Walmart. I think it's so cute and matches like my red and white aesthetic very well. So that's this little area. And then I have, of course, peppermint scented dish soap and surface cleaner. I still have my Thanksgiving soap because I haven't run out yet, but I have some Christmas soap too. I have this cutie little wreath that I just like to hang. This is one of my favorite decorations I have. It's literally from the Target dollar store. I think it was a dollar. And then I have this little area too. I have all my cookie stuff over here, but I just think it's so cute. I have these guys on top of my oven and I think they're so cute. So this is my like little makeshift office. I hung up my Disney Cruise Line souvenirs up here. I don't think that's necessarily like the cutest way to decorate it, but I thought it would be like a good source of inspiration when I'm here working. So yeah, this is just like my little office setup. I have some Christmas decorations. Um, I have the little festival of the holidays map. I have this bin for receipts in case I want to return anything I love my Disney Cruise Line coaster. I use it every day And then the pillow on my chair says Merry Christmas and then coming into the living room I think this is my favorite place for sure um, I have my TV stand all decorated as best as I could because I also use it for storage as well but I have my stocking up I got this little snowman from Home Goods, and I just think he's the cutest little thing ever. I also got these trees from the Target dollar section, and I just thought they were so precious, so I put one up here. I also put my little peppermint munchling there. Above the TV, I have a little banner that says Merry Christmas, and then you have my Christmas tree, which is candy cane themed. And I really like having ornaments on the tree that mean something to me or represent something, so... 
of course we have Miss Jessie on top of here because she means a lot to me. My friend made me this ornament a few years ago. It's one of the Big Time Rush Christmas songs and it's one of my favorite ornaments. It's so cute. Another one of my friends bought me these candy cane ornaments and I think they are so cute. I have this Santa Mickey ornament and I think he's so cute but why I really got him is because he has a little duffy in the back. I have this ornament that is one of the decorations they have in Hollywood Studios. She like does that. I think it's so cute. It's in like one of the store displays, but they're gold this year. Oh, I have another Jessie down here. A few years ago, I wanted to get ornaments for every single one of my friends. So I have Jessie. I have Chip and Dale over here. I don't have Pooh Bear, but I did have a screwdriver. I just didn't feel like putting it up this year. Oh, I have this Disney Cruise Line ornament that I got last year when I did my Christmas solo Disney cruise. So this is the first year I get to put it up. And what I think is really cool is that it's teal and it looks just like the 25th anniversary theming, even though it's not, I don't think. I also got this little jelly cat ornament. I think he's so cute. And then under my tree, I have all my gifts that I'm going to give to other people as well as I like to keep some PR and things. So it looks pretty fun and festive this year. And then my clothing rack is all decked out with all of my Christmas outfits that I could possibly want to wear. Also my couch, this is one of my favorite things. So I keep these two little munchling pillows on it and, and I love them so much because they match my pink couch so well while also adding a little touch of Christmas. And then I have my little Mickey gingerbread pillow too. That does smell like gingerbread. And then I have these scented pine cones that smell so, so good. Going into my room, um, I have my bed all decorated for the holidays. I love my little Grinch and Max that I have. I think they're just so cute. And this year I got the candy cane pillow, which I've always, always wanted. This is my dresser. It's one of my favorite parts of my apartment as well. So I have another little munch sling, a little candle, this Christmas tree. Um, pretty much everything is from Target, by the way. And then I have my winter candy apple candle, which is my favorite Christmas scent. I also put up a little bit of garland over my windows. And then I think my nightstand is really cute too because I got this little sign from Home Goods that says, Believe in the magic of Christmas, and I just love it. I have another winter candy apple candle, and of course I have another Disney Cruise Line coaster. It doesn't match the aesthetic, but that's okay. And then walking into my bathroom, I put up this little believe sign here, and I also put tis the season to sparkle over the toilet. I just thought that was the best spot for it. And then over here, I have some more little decorations, and I have a little gingerbread soap, and I have a little Christmas mat. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's take the pizza out. The pizza is all done and it looks so cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's time to eat it. I always hate cutting the pizza though because it ruins the cute little design. I have my pizza and I am ready to dig in. Pretty good. I guess making holiday pizzas has now become one of my traditions because I did this last year too and I made a little gingerbread man and I think my bow is much cuter. But I love having little traditions like with myself. Like I think traditions are so fun to make like with your family, with a significant other, with friends, etc. But I also think it's so fun to make traditions with yourself. So some of my holiday traditions that I have with myself, I think my number one tradition, I started this in high school and it's to always decorate my car every single year for Christmas. I normally have some sort of decoration in my car throughout the year and for Christmas especially I go all out and I've been doing that every single year since I got my car. I have these like Mickey Mouse shaped it's like a little keychain but it's supposed to look like Christmas lights so that hangs from my dashboard and then I have a little Rudolph that I put in my console. I have the little Bath and Body Works car scents. I always do winter candy apple. I have those up. Oh, I love putting little scrunchies on my little gear shift handle thing. Every single year I have to buy candy canes, even if I don't eat them. I used to be obsessed with candy canes in high school and I would eat them every single day. Now, I don't really love them as much, but I will still buy a box of candy canes every year. And so I have them on one of my little advent calendars that technically is like you're supposed to take one every day. I just leave them in there now because I think it looks cute. I really like the Jolly Rancher candy canes or the Sweethearts candy cane. And this pizza is nice and saucy. One of my newer traditions since moving here to Orlando is that I always try to go to every single Disney park during the holidays. And it's a lot harder than you think because I just get so busy. Every year, 
I think I'm gonna like be more organized and I'm gonna plan better and I'm gonna get to do everything I want to do and every year I never get to so this year my goal was to try to do every park once and I've been to every park except for Animal Kingdom and I always always leave Animal Kingdom for last but I don't mean to because it's so cute there and it's so festive I'm gonna try to go this week if I can, but I am going back home to Texas next week. So I pretty much have one week left of Christmas here in Orlando, and I'm gonna try my best to jam as much Christmas things as I can into one week. Let me know if you guys have any holiday traditions that you'd love to do, either with yourself, with friends, family, etc., or if you have any traditions that you would like to do or like to start. It is never too late to start a tradition. That pizza was so good. I can't wait to eat the leftovers tomorrow. But now I think it's time to change into some Christmas PJs. So I have this little Disney World crew neck. I got it this year and this is the back. I think it's so, so cute. I've been wearing this pretty much every time I leave the house to go run errands or something. So I think I'm gonna put this on. And then I also have these little plaid PJ shorts that I think are so cute. So these are my little Christmas PJs. I'm gonna change and then it's time to make the cookies. Can't forget the Christmas Crocs. Also, I have to show you guys what I got the other day. So this is a little snowman succulent. He has a little plant on top. I got this at a Christmas farmer's market and I decided to name him Frosty the Snow Plant. Get it? Like snowman? Anyways, I'm not very good at taking care of plants, but my friend told me all I really have to do is just water him once a week. I don't know, he kind of looks like he's dying already. I watered him yesterday. So now it is time to make cookies. So I got this gingerbread cookie mix from Target. So we're really gonna make them from scratch. I decided not to get a rolling pin because I just didn't feel like spending the money on one. But I read online that you could use a reusable water bottle. So I have this water bottle and of course it's a Disney Christmas water bottle, but I actually think this would be perfect to roll. So we're gonna save some money and use this. So while I bake the cookies, I wanna put on a Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie, I think is The Holiday, but I don't think that I have that on any of my streaming. So we're gonna have to make do. wonky but I think I see one that looks really good the dough was just too sticky to roll so I put it in the refrigerator for about 15 20 minutes and it was still pretty sticky I'm wondering if it's because I melted the butter a little bit too much so definitely oh the cookies are ready so that's why these were kind of hard to get in that perfect shape and why these might fluff up a little bit let's take them out oh my gosh they smell amazing Look how cute they are. They're all kind of holding hands now. Um, so I'm gonna let these cool for a few minutes. It's finally time to decorate our gingerbread cookies. So I have red, green, and white frosting. And then I have these like little sprinkles. And then I also have the little glare. So I think we should just start with like a basic gingerbread design. Maybe I'll copy what's on the bag. I didn't realize you had to like microwave the icing and everything. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I've never done this before, so please don't judge me if they're terrible. I've also never like uh, made cookie dough from scratch, kind of, sort of from scratch, and then had to like roll it out and stuff. I definitely had no idea what I was doing. Okay, this icing is amazing. So I don't think I'm gonna become a professional baker anytime soon. Um. <laughs> These are, um, they're really something. I really thought I was gonna be a little bit more talented, 
but I'm gonna blame it on the icing. It would just come out so fast and then it would expand and so even though most of the time when I was drawing it, it looked right, it would just expand and then it got ruined. Now it is time to eat a cookie. And for this one gingerbread, I decided just to put icing all over it because I tried to outline it and it just, it was not looking good. And then I put the glitter on it. I don't know if you guys can see. I think the glitter really pulled the whole tray together. Anyways, let's try them and see if they're any good. I wanted them to be soft and chewy. So I pulled it out at eight minutes. I think I should have pulled them out earlier. And then these also have been sitting out for a while because I had to decorate them. So it is not soft nor chewy. Whoa. The edible glitter, I mean, I can't taste it, but I could like feel it. It feels like as if you put, you know, plastic in your mouth. Oh, the middle's a little bit softer. For my first time making gingerbread cookies, I say I did pretty good. <laughs> I think he's my favorite with his little like side smile and the mistletoe bow. He looks like this little guy. Actually, not too bad. This guy, however, is just what happened his eyebrows are so funky i honestly might have another cookie in a little bit but when i was at epcot the other day i got this little tea and it's winter spice so i think i'm gonna make some tea because that just sounds amazing and then get ready for bed i also have this little candy cane eye mask i got from target so let's do a little cozy christmas night routine changed into this little Christmas tea, which I got on Amazon by the way. I'll link it down below. I think it's so cute, but I have my tea. And this is delicious. It's called Winter Spice, but the main flavor is apple, which I was really curious to see what that would be like in tea, but I really like it. So this is my last week in Orlando before I go back home to Texas. And then when I go back home to Texas, I'm really hoping I can just chill and take a little break. That way I can just start out the new year really refreshed. I'm trying to think like what my goals are this new year. I mean, I have a bunch, but I need to take some time. I'll probably do that in Texas to just write out everything what I'm looking forward to, what I really want to work on. Anyways, it's still Christmas time. It's not New Year's yet. I will say that I'm very, 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 very sad to not have gone on a Christmas cruise this year. It just wasn't possible, but I am very, very thankful that I went on the Halloween cruise and the 25th anniversary cruise. I seriously had such a blast on both of those cruises. Maybe in the new year, if they do the Pixar Day at Sea, which I think they're bringing that back, maybe I'll try to do one of those. The videos are still up on my channel if you guys want to see what a Disney Christmas cruise is like. I covered everything and it was the best time ever. And I think the little revelation I had at the end, it still rings true and it's still something that I think about. Anyways, this has been such a fun Christmas sleepover. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the little Christmas activities we did. I definitely encourage you guys, if you haven't already, to make a Christmas pizza, Christmas cookies. Decorating the gingerbread cookies was so fun. Even though they turned out kind of silly, I think that's even better. They had character. But I hope you guys had fun. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Subscribe down below if you want more sleepovers. And I really hope you guys enjoyed a sleepover in my apartment. I thought it was really fun getting to show you where I live. I'm posting a ton more Christmas content on my Instagram and TikTok at emilynos8 if you want to come give it a follow. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!
Christmas magic here. If there's one thing I know, I'm already there.